Hello, hello, dear listeners. I am Sabina Latifli, as Azerbaijan's Vice President of Marketing. Today, we present you second episode of Elsa Casa Azerbaijan in English. Get ready for an exciting conversation. We have got a special guest with really interesting topics that I know you are going to love. Jonathan is here today as our guest. He is the Vice President of uh, Academic Activities of Elsa Belgium and was a participant in the last year's Wells Gabala. In today's episode, our special guest will discuss about Elsa experiences, memorable events from winter school and uh, difference of other things. Jonathan, first and foremost, I want to express my gratitude for accepting my offer. Please introduce yourself to our audience. Well, hi, uh, hi to the audience. Hi, hi Sabina. Uh, well, first of all, thank you for for the invitation. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad that I can can speak about my uh, experience um, uh, in 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 Gabala. So yeah, as as you properly introduced me, I'm Jonathan. I'm from Belgium. I'm a student uh, at the University of Antwerp, uh, and um, currently vice president in charge of academic activities in Elsa Belgium. Uh, I was two years in the local board of Elsa Antwerp before. Um, and yeah, that's that's why I I, I joined uh, the the Elsa Gabala, and and that's what we're talking about uh, today. Thank you. I'm already excited for an interesting conversation. Also, Murat is here. He's a director at Elsa Cas Project uh, of Marketing Team and participant of Winter Elsa Law School. Murat, you can say hi to our audience and let's introduce yourself. Hello, guys. How are you? I'm also excited for these conversations. As you mentioned, I am the director at uh, Elsa Cast project at Elsa. Azerbaijan Marketing Team. Okay, thank you. Let's start. Um, Jonathan, as a former participant of Wells Kabbalah, can you share any memorable experience or highlights from your participation that you liked the most? Well, I think I think there's a lot of a lot of nice nice experience and, and highlights that i could share but maybe let let's start with with uh, the first one i think the the nicest one it was the uh, the gala ball of course um okay. i think the the gala ball um at at the wells was was really good uh, i think the gala ball in every event is something that everyone really looks looks forward to and it was the case with us i mean we um we went to to Gabala with with no friends with people we we didn't know and then we had at the end of the week we had the the opportunity to to just have have a nice have a nice party uh, together so i was pleased to of course sit um with with murat um he was he, he was one of my friends that i met there so yes i think the the um uh, the gala ball and and the, the the amazing dinner we had there was was one of the best experiences uh, of the winter school. Your reflection on the days spent in Azerbaijan are truly inspiring. Let's continue with our next question. Hopefully, you have also um, noticed that Azerbaijani people are known for their hospitality and friendly companionship. Did you have the opportunity to network with other local participants? Any notable connections? Well, uh, of course, I can only agree with, with 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 the fact that Azerbaijani people were really hospitable, um, uh, and that goes for for the participants OC, but but also broader, just the local people in Azerbaijan. As I said, I went to Azerbaijan on my own. That was was I just wanted to visit the country on my own with 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 no um, uh, friends. Uh, of course, I met I met some people on the plane from Istanbul to uh, to Baku already. So I I, I got to know uh, some people in advance. But I arrived in Baku, and I remember when I arrived at the airport, uh, there were like three or four OC members present already. And they, yeah, they, 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 they really took took care of us. Uh, we spent the whole day in Baku itself uh, because we arrived pretty early, and our bus um, was was in the evening. So we had an amazing day in in in, uh, in Baku. So um, yeah, they were they were really 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 nice to us. But other than that, I mean, during the whole week, wherever we went to to some restaurants or just just wandered around the streets. Uh, Azerbaijani people were very friendly. I mean, uh, they were really interested about who who we are and and what we what we did in in Azerbaijan. Of course, 
um, the language barrier was there sometimes. Not not everyone could could speak English that well, and my Russian isn't isn't that good either. So so it was difficult, but still the the, the people managed to communicate with us. Uh, and and I remember like some people uh, offering tea, etc. So uh, yeah, very friendly and 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 yeah, very hospitable, as you said, indeed. Thank you. Cultural nuances truly enrich their experiences. And how do you rate uh, the activity of S Azerbaijan regarding the organization of Velska Bela, which you participated in last year? Can you share with us what you liked about it and what made a positive impression for on you? Uh, well, I think I think the 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 organization of of the entire Wells was was really well done. I mean, pretty recently, uh, no. Um, yeah, pretty recently I joined the, the, the Belgian board of of, uh, of of Elsa. So we also are organizing a oh, our own uh, summer school this summer. And actually, now I really have a cool cool perspective on on how much time and effort there there goes into organizing such a such a Wells or Cells or any other major international Elsa event. So I was really surprised about how how well it went, and I can't remember any major issues. Um, that we, we 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 met during during the stay, uh, so it was really well uh, well done. Thank you for appreciating. Uh, indeed, we can observe their responsibility and attention to detail demonstrated by by Elsa Azerbaijan, not only this event but in all events. Um, taking into account your experiences in Velskabala. What advice do you have a uh, future participants considering to be a part of our considerable event? And uh, are there specific areas for the improvement or suggestion to expand the overall experience of future participants? Well, as, as, as uh, from the side, as participants, maybe I could see some improvements for myself because of course um, that's, that's very personal and, and, and I can only share my own experience. I went to to Azerbaijan to Gabla with no prior experience. I mean, I really went with with a YOLO mentality. I didn't read any anything about your culture, about your your history, about your even cuisine. So I didn't know anything. And so maybe if I would have read a bit more, a, a bit uh, like a bit more, yeah, a bit just read a bit more about your 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 whole um, history, etc. I would experience. Um, my stay a bit better maybe not better but differently i mean now i had the first first glimpse of everything there at the spot and it was really amazing but maybe if i would have done some research it would be better um and maybe something else i would also consider is staying a bit longer just for myself in azerbaijan i mean the the wells was seven days and it was a really really good program but maybe staying two or three days longer just on myself in Baku, just discovering the city on myself, because as I said, the OC showed us around for one day, but maybe we have not seen everything. And I really believe that just staying two days or three days prior or later um, to the wells would be would be enriching. Um, and maybe a last point of improvement for myself, um, that would be for the academic program. I mean, the academic program would, would be was, was very good uh, and was very interactive. So maybe just just for the sake of, of, of proper discussions during the academic program, I could have I could have just refreshed my knowledge on contract law by on Belgian contract law because as I said, they were very interactive and the lectures were very interesting about um, how the situation or how how the law looks in Belgium. So maybe if I would uh, just refresh before my 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 visit to um, to the winter school, my own knowledge on Belgian contract law, I would contribute even more to the um, to the curriculum of of the academic activities as well. Thank you so much. Um, as you know, Wells Gabala in held in uh, Gabala Azerbaijan. So during your participation. Uh, were there any cultural nuances that influenced the discussion of presentation and your thoughts about Azerbaijan? Well, as I as I said, I had no prior knowledge of Azerbaijan, so everything was was new to me. Um, and did it did it influence uh, the discussions? Of course, I mean certainly during the academic program, 
the lectures gave a uh, the a overview of, of international contract law or like the basic principles of international contract law but they also tried to give a glimpse of Azerbaijani uh, point of view how how it looks in Azerbaijan in Azerbaijan so of course it it's yeah it contributed uh, for sure to the to the curriculum um uh, absolutely wonderful. Thank you. That means a lot for us. And um, I want to continue with our next, next question. Kabul is known for its amazing landscapes. And uh, how did the local environment and surroundings contribute to overall atmosphere, atmosphere and success of Wales? And uh, did it provide any unique uh, challenges or opportunities for networking and learning? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I mean, I, I recall that the venue where we had the academic uh, lectures was, was a very nice, nice venue uh, in Gabala. And I remember when we went out just for a for a break to catch some fresh air or to 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 some people uh, smoked, had a cigarette break. Um, we had a wonderful view of, of the mountains uh, surrounding Gabala. And we had the, the pleasure that the first part of the week it was actually pretty sunny so we could there was there were no clouds as well so we could really see the mountains surrounding it and the second part of the week it was actually snowing so on that um, on the other hand we had to see snowy uh, gabala as well so it was i mean yeah the, the 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 view we had in between lectures or in between our cultural activities it was it was really uh, really nice I am glad that you like it. Your participation and insights bring value to our Wells Kabbalah and offering the new perspectives that enrich our Wells Kabbalah. Given your experiences in Wells Kabbalah, how would you encourage other ELSA members to actively participate in international local events and exchange programs? And what benefits do you believe that, uh, do you believe they can gain uh, from such experiences? I mean, as we are, we are ELSA, we are part of the European Law Student Association, and we're not just a national student association. I think it's a bit in our DNA to really participate in, in these international projects. And by, by, by taking part in these international projects, such as a Wells or a CELS or some international conferences, but it, it also goes further than just ELSA by, by taking part in, in, in some Erasmus exchange programs or, or other exchange programs. I think... The, the the students um, uh, gain gain a lot of uh, skills that they do not get at university. I mean, at university, we 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 focus on on the academic program, but during these 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 sort of extra academic activities, you get to know a lot of cool people. A lot of it, you step out of your comfort zone. So in that regard, you really develop some other skills that you do not at university, and except from just your your intercultural and, and inter interpersonal skills that you develop the people that you meet on such events it's it's just amazing as i said i had no azerbaijani friends when i arrived in in gabla and i'm i'm glad to say that when i left i really had some friends pretty recently we had the icm in, in tbilisi and it was great to see some friendly faces again i saw i saw anvor so um one of the guys that i met in met on the um, on the winter school uh, he was one of the participants as well and i was really glad to to just um, to speak with him to to catch up with him um so yeah i think the, the most important aspect of, of participating in such events is is the the bonds that you create with with all the people and that goes from just personal bonds because if if one of one of my friends from Azerbaijan visit Belgium or 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 are close by to Antwerp or Brussels I will be glad to show them around but it goes even further than that we are all legal professionals future legal professionals so we don't know what the future brings and and maybe we will be able to help uh, each other out on, on, on a professional um, career path. So, uh, yeah. Yes, I also, um, I can say also participating in international events is the best way to experience the ELSA spirit, I think. Um, Murat, you. do you want uh, something to, do you want to add something? Yes, I totally agree with Jonathan. 
making friends with such a such of schools the events especially international school is an amazing thing yeah we didn't know uh, each other before the school and after that after as you mentioned Jonathan after uh, on the uh, color ball we had a such a party such a good night and it was just an amazing feeling and I want to thank again for the, uh, oh, the organizing committee for this event thank you Okay, let's continue with uh, next question. Um, Jonathan, as we know, Azerbaijani cuisine is diverse. How would you describe the overall flavor profile profile of Azerbaijani cuisine, and are there specific tastes that stand out to you? Well, to be honest, I don't remember the names of, of, of the different dishes that we ate, um, but I was I was really uh, positively surprised uh, by the cuisine. I mean, um, I have Polish roots, so so Eastern European roots. And when I when I when I was in Azerbaijan, the, the, the food that they served, it remembered me like the, the, the cuisine of my grandmother, you know, uh, about the real, real, really the home cuisine uh, of the Yes, yes. It made 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 with love. Let's 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 uh, let's say so. It was really really good food. But something else that um, stood out to me it was it was your your Azerbaijani tea. I mean, I am not I'm not a fan. I am not a fan of tea at all. I mean, at home I don't drink tea. Um, but in Azerbaijan, um, some sometimes people offered me the tea, and of course, out of to be polite, I I accepted it and I drank tea with them. Uh, and I actually pretty liked it. And maybe liked is, is a bit of an understatement because I drank a lot of tea in Azerbaijan. And when I went home at the airport, all the, the, the free space that I had in my luggage, I just bought tea, your tea at the airport and I brought it home. So, Azerbaijan tea is the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can agree. I can agree, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah but unfortunately um i have no tea anymore so maybe that's one more reason to visit azerbaijan again and uh and do some shopping there also not only tea please mention others also <laughs> yeah for sure i mean but that was that was just one thing that that really stood out to me because i i, I didn't like tea before and and after that it was <laughs> yeah it's something something remarkable to me Yes, it's amazing how food becomes a cultural bridge and enriching the overall experiences. And uh, Jonathan, you know, Kabbalah is known uh, for its outdoor activities. Did you engage in uh, any outdoor adventures? And if so, what was your favorite one? Well, um, the program we had that it was was indeed pretty adventurous. I mean, I recall, for example, the amusement park that we went to. But excuse me, I think the 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 part that I liked the most was of course the the ski trip in uh, in in Gabala. I mean, it's maybe weird to say because I'm from from Western Europe, from Belgium, and we have Fre we have the French mountains, the Swiss mountains, the German mountains, or even Austria so close by. But before going to Gabla, I've never ever skied. So it was actually kind of funny that that I've never skied before. And the first time that I went skiing was in was in Gabla in Azerbaijan. Uh, and I didn't know if I if I would 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 um, would go skiing because because I could not ski at all. Um, but luckily, uh, some other uh, participants also could not ski. So um, and and some others could. So it was really nice and and friendly of them to to show us around and and teach us how to ski. And I recall, for example, that me and Murad got some lessons from 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 other participants. Uh, and at the beginning of the day, we were like falling every every two minutes. But I think at the end of the day, we managed pretty well. Um, uh, so yeah, I think that was one of the one of the best outdoor activities uh, that I remember. I still remember the uh, moment that we stuck on the top of the mountain, <laughs> and France <laughs> came to us. <laughs> Indeed. So, this is so exciting, <laughs> and um, as we know, you spent the first day um, 
you spent the first day in Baku during your visit to West Kabbalah and um, we received feedback from everyone that Baku is known for uh, its modern architecture and uh, and hospitality and West Kabbalah remains in memory as a, one of the most beautiful and most loved, loved uh, natural corners of Azerbaijan based on your experiences. Uh, would you recommend Gabala or Baku as a travel destination? If so, to whom and why? I mean, of course. I think I think I was I was pretty pretty positive about my stay, and and I can really only recommend it. I mean, and I believe that that Gabala or Azerbaijan as um the, the yeah the Gabala uh, winter school, but I also believe your um your Baku summer school is one of the one of is is really for for different people people as well for those who are interested in contract law or broader business law it's a nice place to 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 get to know a bit a bit more um details about about the topics there because i believe that the program was on a on a pretty pretty good level and for those who really want to to step out of their comfort zone and really want to just enjoy a stay in a country maybe they would not have visited before um or or anywhere anywhere else because if you would ask me three years ago um if i what country i would visit in in 2023 i'm sure i would not say azerbaijan but i mean it was it was just a a a, a decision that i made and i'm and i i i, I look look back on it um uh, gratefully i enjoyed my stay there uh so both for academic program or for the social cultural one i would i would uh, do it again for sure um, to be honest, my favorite one is South Baku. I'm sure that you will get even more positive impression if you attend South Baku, and I really highly recommend it to you. And I would also like uh, to announce with the pride and happiness to Azerbaijan will host the Climate Change Conference for next year. And uh, do you know this? Yes, yes, I've seen uh, on social media that you will host the, the next COP. I've seen it indeed. Yeah. And the place will be reserved for the participant of as a delegation. We will uh, we will be very happy to see you in our country in Baku, and this way you can get to know the uh, more beautiful place in Baku. And um, at the end, dear Jonathan, the memories you shared with us about Wells Gabala, uh, very interesting and very well very valuable. Thank you for accepting my invitation and I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for being part of our podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Jonathan. It was nice to uh, meet you and meet you again at this <laughs> podcast and hope to see you in the future, maybe in Azerbaijan or in Europe. Yeah, I mean, uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for inviting me. Um, to letting me 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 uh, share my experience and maybe one more thank you to the OC of 2023 for organizing uh, an amazing amazing wells and um, I'm sure uh, the wells of next year of 2024 will be even better uh, and I look forward to hearing positive feedback from uh, from the people.